Formatting cells is all about changing the look and feel of your spreadsheet. Even a few adjustments can make it easier to read and more visually appealing. In this video, we'll go over the most common options. At the top of the screen, you will find all of your formatting commands on the toolbar. The commands on the left allow you to format numbers, insert dollar signs for currency, percentage signs, and many other options like date and time. To the right, you'll see all of your options for changing text. Let's start with adjusting the font. Start by selecting the text, then click the drop down menu to view the options. I like the way this one looks. I want the title of this chart to be very easy to read, so let's change the size of the text. By clicking the font size command, I can select one I think will be big enough. Another way to make text stand out is to make it bold, which I can do by selecting the cells I want to change and clicking the command here. There's also the italic command and strike through, which will make text appear crossed out. I'm going to stick with bold for this. Black and white is a little boring, and I also want to draw attention to different parts of this chart, so let's add some colors. To change the background or fill color, I'll select the cells and then click the fill color command. This will show you all of your color options. Just select the one you like. This dark color makes the black text a little hard to read, so I'm going to change the color of the text. This works the same way as fill color. Just click the text color command and make a selection. I think I'll add some color to these rows also to break up the different sections. There's an even wider variety of color options you can view by clicking Custom. This blue will look nice. When it comes to formatting, consider the purpose of your spreadsheet and your audience. For example, if you're creating something for work, a hot pink fill color may be too informal. Similarly, putting white text on top of a yellow cell will make it hard to read. You may have noticed that when you added color, the lines between the cells became a little bit harder to see. We can fix that by adding borders. Select the area you want to apply borders to and click the borders command. If you'd like, you can change the color of your borders here. You'll also see several options for border lines. Try a few and see which one looks best for your spreadsheet. Changing the text alignment allows you to adjust the position of text within the cell. Horizontal alignment allows you to move text to the left, center, or right of the cell, while vertical alignment moves text to the top, middle, or bottom of the cell. Let's give this chart a really clean, organized look by using both commands to center the text in each cell. There, just a few changes have made a big difference. Next time you're creating a spreadsheet, get creative and experiment with different colors and fonts to find a look that works for your project. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.